Good morning everyone, I'm back. How are you all? Um, my name is Elisa Tilsner. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in South Australia and I've been missing for I think it's about a month now. So um, that's a, whoops, my computer's gone off. That's a super long time to um, be away. So I'm hoping that um, some of you will find me again. Hi Tracy, how you are you? I was just saying it's been about a month I think because it was just before Easter um, that I took off for Easter preparations and then we had Easter and school holidays and um, getting back into school. Hey Sue, so it's taken a while to um, get back into it so hopefully we'll be back into some a regular time slot now that all of um, school holidays and you know getting back into school is all finished. Today we are just going to be making a card with some retiring product and there's a few little sneak peeks of some new product in the card as well. And the card is actually, I'm, I'm setting up my laptop over on the side here, it doesn't want to play prop up, there I am. And uh, so I'm just setting all that up, I have a feeling that um, it's not going to go so well. Good morning Caroline, good morning Lois. I know, I'm back, it's been a while, it's been like four weeks or something or maybe it's even five weeks I'm not a hundred percent sure but um, I also have um, I've, I've got a sickie at home today as well so he's in bed it's um, it's not a child it's my husband so he got up and you know normally gets up around six o'clock and he come out and he goes oh I think I'm gonna go back to bed so he went back to bed and he's still in bed the poor thing so he's been sleeping his morning away so I'm trying to I know I don't really need to be quiet because he's around the other side of the house but um, I was still talking hush hush. Hi Michelle. Um, okay, so we are going to be making a card today, obviously, and um, it's got a little bit of a watercolouring wash technique in it. It's not my card. I did see it. I'm back, Glennis. <laughs> um, I did see it on Pinterest, and I will, because I only took a cramped screenshot of it quickly for to take to Link and Learn yesterday. So I will go and uh, search back through the pins and see who was the original person to create it. I'm not 100% sure that this is what she did on the sidebar that I'm going to be doing, but um, it'll be my bit of a spin on it anyway. Hello! Oh my goodness, I'm not going to be able to pronounce your, your name. Is it a, oh, is it a fa Faline? That's an unusual name. Wow, I like it. Good morning, Kerry. I hope I pronounced it correctly. It's very unusual. It's like mine. I always get... Um, all sorts of names called. <laughs> okay, let us swing around and get started, shall we? How about that? Okay, I have a feeling I'm going to be spending most of my time standing up and stamping as well. So let's uh, let's get right into it. Okay, okay, zoom in a little bit. So I've pre-done a few things. Okay. Fooling, fooling. Ah, it's very interesting. Love it. Okay, where does that originate from? So it's very unusual. Okay, I'm, I'm. Uh, it's just, just my luck. It's not gonna. Let's see. My, my laptop always. Honestly, it's probably the worst decision thing that I've ever bought. <laughs> So I have started off with a piece of watercolour paper. Um, oh gosh, I love technology. Love it so much. Anyway, it's um, it's not. I wish I could show you what I can, what I'm saying. I have a feeling I'm going to be, I'm going to be um, standing up for the most of it. Okay, so I have a piece of um, five by thirteen watercolour paper. Good morning, Chris, and morning, Jennifer. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use the whole thing. I'm going to actually cut it in half once it's dry, and then I can use that on the second piece. But it's just easier to have a bigger piece of white cardstock going on. Um, okay, so what I am going to do is what I've done is I've stamped. Look, I'm all over the place this morning. See, I've lost, I've lost the knack of being live. Um, I've used the brush strokes stamp set for my stripes here and a cool way to get them diagonal is I'm going to bring in something that you may not have seen for quite some time. Good morning Carla. Look at this. 
What is this? What on earth is this? It's a thingamajig. How, and like, you've all probably got one and it's probably been shoved in the back of your drawer like mine happened to be. But it's very, very handy because if you've got your piece of white cardstock, and I'm just going to show you, you can probably see, if I put it on that angle, I've got a lot of white card left over. But if I twist my angle, I can keep... I can keep rotating that until I've basically filled my entire card and it's got nice even stripes. And that way, that just touches there and that one just touches there. That way I can get my stripes lined up perfectly. Pop your handle in. Don't move anything. Take it out, stamp it, and, um, and go for your embossing there. And then that way you've got a really lovely full um, diagonal stripe on your cardstock. Yes, see, yes, someone who still uses their Stampin' Majig. Yay, I, have, I must admit I haven't used mine for quite some time, but it is a handy tool still to have. Okay, so that's what I've done, and I've embossed it in white. Okay, I'm going to put this thing here that's all nice and covered. Did you, did you anyone pick up on that colour that I've used? Mm -hmm, maybe, maybe not. I'm going to put that on my back bench because you know what's going to happen, don't you? I'm going to stick my finger in it, and I'm going to transfer it to my card. Because that's the way my life goes. It seems to always go that way. I'm going to put that right out of the way. Okay, the colours that I'm using today uh, is Crush Curry, Calypso Coral, Flirty Flamingo, and wait for it. Berry Burst. I love it. Hey, Betty. How cool is that? I just love it. I think it's going to be um, a little bit of a, a thing for me. I think it's going to replace, dare I say, my rose red. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It might. It's a little bit richer in colour. So I'll, I'll do a comparison in a little bit for you and show you. But it is a little ri bit richer. Good morning, Catherine. Okay, so I'm trying to because my thingy's not playing up properly. My, my other thing's playing properly. So I'm, I'm creating my card standing up today. So what I'm going to be doing is just a watercolour wash over this, starting with crushed curry. Squeeze your ink pad. Have your watercolour, your aqua painter here. Have your, um, your washcloth, your rag, your tissue, whatever it is that you've got beside you. And, of course, I'm just going to see if I can zoom, zoom in a wee bit. There we go. I know, I really love them. I was a little bit unsure about some of them, but um, I am really, really loving it. So I just want to pop a few drips, just maybe one, because I, um, I want to come back and make it a little bit deeper. I love to have rich colours when I do my watercolour washes. Okay, so I'm just chucking some colour down there. I'm actually going to do a fairly big area of yellow because I found when I was making it yesterday that I only did a little bit and I had to go back in and add a bit more because I love I love the bit of yellow on there. So then I'm just going to pick up some of the stronger colour and pop that on there as well. Okay. So we did this at Link and Learn yesterday and I had a little helper. She was, um, as you know in Australia we've got the NAPLAN testing at the moment and she was um, she was not doing her nap, oh that's a bit squeaky. She wasn't doing her NAPLAN testing yesterday so her grandma brought her to Link and Learn and she was, I think she must have been about eight or something, she was in grade three and um, she found her way over to, hey Mary! Um, yes, new paper towel. Actually, it's a grubby old one, but yes, it's clean. <laughs> it's so funny that you know, notice these things about me. <laughs> um, good morning, Mary. Um, so, so this young young lady made her way over to my table yesterday, and she was absolutely mesmerised by what we were making. So I let her join in, and she made my second card, finished my second card off for me. So she had her first go at heat embossing, and so and she kept saying. She ran off and she goes, oh, I'm just going to go and ask my grandma whether I can come next week as well and come and join your card making class. But unfortunately, grandma said no. <laughs> the poor thing. She was so disappointed. 
Um, okay, so now you can see where I've got my, my yellow into my uh, Calypso Coral. Good morning, darling. I'm just going to blend those colours together, which is why I wanted that little bit more of a yellow going on. So just blending that. Yeah, and then I had to, while, while um, I had done this bit while I was waiting for the big shot to, to become available, and then one of the ladies sat down, she'd just finished with the big shot and she was ready to do this and she's like, okay, what do I have to do now? And so this nice young lady, good morning, Shona, this nice young lady went and um, she taught my regular lady how to, how to do this watercolour wash and I thought, oh, here's a Stampin' Up! demo in the making. Okay, so now I'm using Flirty Flamingo, which is quite a similar colour to the Calypso Coral. So I haven't washed this one down and you can see that my nib is getting a little bit broad there, which I don't normally like. I might actually have to come in with a bit more um, orange in a little bit because those two colours blend in, have blended quite, um, they look very similar. Okay, let me squeeze that and try and get a point back. So I know, it feels like forever since I have come on and done something. Oh man, I knew that I would get ink everywhere. It's all over my table. Honestly, I, I actually, I'm not, I was going to say I was, I think I'm a fairly neat stamper, but when you see my desk, it's probably a bit of a lie. Okay, check that out. Don't you love the fresh squeeze of a, a dirty, a new ink pad and getting it all grubby? Okay, so this is the berry burst going on. Check that colour out. Isn't that gorgeous? Oopsie. Love. Okay, so this is where I want to come back in and I want to blend my two pinks in together. And that'll perhaps merge with the orange. I'm just going to pounce it a little bit too because I want a little bit of a watercolour look going on. So there we go. I love this colour as well. It, it is quite different to the rose red. Oops, hang on two seconds. Falling over my stuff. Honestly, my my room is absolutely full of um, boxes at the moment. It's crazy. Oops, so there's berry burst and rose red in my messy ink pads. So there is quite a bit of difference going on there. It's so much richer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chuck that on my back bench. Okay, now, do I need to add any more colour to that? I want to make it richer down the bottom here. There we go. I might just pop a little bit more orange. Uh, I think. Orange or yellow? I'm not 100% sure. Just need to make sure that that's all nicely clean. A little bit more yellow, maybe. Which you guys can't see because I'm not in the camera. How's that? And a little bit more orange. Calypso. I should call them by the right names now, shouldn't I? Okay, now I need to set this aside to allow it to dry just a wee bit. There we go. Lovely. Oh, Blackberry Bliss. Bliss. Blah, blah, blah. That is such a nice, rich colour. That would probably go really lovely with the new Berry Burst. The Blackberry Bliss. Okay, so that is my piece of watercolouring done. I am going to allow that to dry because then I'm going to just buff it off and make sure that all... Um, yeah, they, they start to show a bit more definition. And, and I want to have a little bit of a, a watercolour look going on. So um, I'm just going to... I hate having lines. Do you know what I mean? Blend away. Do you know what I mean? Even when I'm sponging and I'm, and I'm going from one colour into another, it's like, I need to get rid of them. Yes, buy new in colours. They're lovely. They are really lovely. I'll show you the rest of them in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. So I'm going to stick it behind me so I don't make a mess. 
on because that's what I do. And you know what? I was uh, ripped. That's from my embossing. I was making um, cards the other day with a gorgeous new hostess set and I didn't think about it and I've got um, like hang on a minute I've got all my stamping mess and I thought oh, I just had a new piece of grid paper as well and I thought you know what bad luck you guys gonna have to see that okay so where am I up to next oh gosh now I have a piece of thick whisper white cardstock which is 10 and a half by 26 and look what I did I don't normally score my cards but while I was cutting it I thought I should score that so I did and it made it so much easier to fold funny about that hey I'm gonna have to start doing that as a regular thing I think all right so my finished card is going to be 10 and a half by 13 and that's in centimeters um, for those who are watching international okay now what I have to do next now I am also using, I've done a lot of stuff pre off camera, and I am using the Botanical Blooms bundle, but I'm not using the stamp set, but I just wanted to show you what the stamp set looked like anyway. I am using a framelit bundle here, and if anyone can tell me how the heck these, you know, fit back on this page, let me know because. I am stuffed if I know how to get them to all fit in there. I've used one of these, two of these, and one of these ones. Okay? So, and what I've started doing, because for some reason my dye brush and the mat just don't want to, I don't know whether I need to get a new set, but they just don't want to work. So I've started putting a toothpick in with each of my framelits. And um, that way I've always got one on hand and I'm not searching for one. Okay, so they're the two. That's the bundle that I've used for this. I'm just going to bring in my... What's that called? Stamping mat. And my scribe from my score tool. And my two leaves, which are... Put the leaves inside the bigger one. Ah, seriously? Hmm. The... How does that work? Yeah, some yeah. Send me a photo. <laughs> That'd be good because I don't like them all rattling around like that. And I need to go and get a whole heap of magnetic sheeting, I think, to stick everything on um, to keep them all nice and tidy. So, oh, see now that's what happens because they don't stick in. Ugh. You lose them. Okay, so back to this. I am using, and you can see that I like to keep everything in their plastic containers. Um, magnetic. See, we don't have bent covers. I don't know what. Um, I don't actually don't know what bent covers are to tell you the truth. Um, but somebody has suggested um, learner plates and and P plates. So I'm assuming that I can still get some of them reasonably cheap. So, so what I'm doing is I'm using my scribe from my score tool and just the mat here for a little bit of um, give and I'm just going to draw a line, a vein, down the middle there. Hi Lisa! So just drawing a vein and curling them up a little bit. I suppose you could draw like more veins if you wanted to to the actual leaves but I just sort of want a little bit of an indent and, I, and I'm not particularly fussed about where it's going. Uh, see, we don't have heating vents like you guys do. Um, so that makes it a bit difficult. But on next Tuesday, I am going to have a 16 year old in the house, so I do have to go and look for L plates for him anyway, assuming he gets off his backside and actually studies his book and gets his license. Um, all right, put that behind me. Now, so I've got them, I've got my flower and that is out of um, the Berry Bliss Oops, get off. and good morning Laura so pop you through just going to twist them up a little bit get all those little fibres that seem to want to stick now I have not used this for a long time and there it is it's still packed away in my bag from yesterday 
Ta-da! Stink of Wella. I haven't used Stella for ages, so I'm just going to pop that around the back of that flower. And add some pretty shimmer. I'm going to have to start using... I've gone through three of them, which probably isn't very much. <laughs> but, but compared to other people... <coughs> excuse me. So there we go. I've just got a little bit of sparkle going on there. Don't you love her? And then I'm going to adhere my little centerpiece here once I get all those little annoying little fibre thingies off. Yeah. Dark the hair on my mouth. Um, as if you all wanted to know that. Okay, so excuse my don't look don't look at my glue. All right, I'm just putting a bit of um, two way on there and sticking that on. And then off camera, I have also done up because I know that. Time is precious and I don't want to bore you to tears. I have used the Sun Sun oh, Sun Shine Fangs. Say that really fast. Sun Shine Fangs. And I've used the where is it? Happy birthday. Which is actually the same one that was used in the Pinterest card. So I can't believe that I actually had that actual stamp set because most of the time I don't have hardly any of what I'm trying to copy. So that's my happy birthday on black, embossed in white. And um, and cut out nice and crooked. Do you think anyone will notice? Um, oh, I tend to a roll. <gasps> uh, see, I'm going to have to go searching. I think. I, I'm, well, either that, or I'm just going to have to come to America. <laughs> um, so it's cut very crooked. I'm hoping no one will notice. Shh. It's a handmade card, right? These things aren't supposed to be, supposed to matter so much. Okay, so I've got all my bits and pieces, and I'm just going to bring my watercolour back in because it should be nice and dry now and then I'm just going to find a dry spot on my cloth here and then I'm going to just wipe that off just to see if there's any get anything off on that white okay yes it doesn't matter if it's um, that's right. It will be. It'll be pretty obvious that it's. <laughs> okay. Now, and you'll have to excuse my. Um, don't don't look at my cutter either. Okay. No, because I just want to cut that down. That's a five centimetre piece, but I actually just want two and a half for it. But I figure if I'm gonna, if I'm going to um, make that little piece, I might as well. You could even make like a whole long strip of them, and then. Oh, maybe you can't. Depends on the diagonals on your stripes. This is a good size one because that way you can cut it into two. And now I can go and make another card with that one. Um, okay, so now it's just assembly time. Make sure my hands are clean because, you know, me and white cardstock, we match really well. Um, there you go. Look at the bit. So I just want to stick that on. Side. You know what? I don't know whether that's going to be strong enough. Okay. And then just going nice and slowly to make sure that that bit's straight. And of course it overhangs a little bit, but I can trim that a little bit off later. Okay. It's probably because I cut my card crooked. Um, yeah. I, I have got, I've got a little stamp on, like, a little stamp that I had made for me but I think I just need to update it okay oh, I try to no actually I don't try to be funny it just <laughs> just things just go wrong with me all the time um what am I doing now people okay leaves I need to put my leaves on here and my flower is going to go on there somewhere so um what am I doing what am I doing all right I need some of this stuff this is black metallic thread, and it seems to be a mess. It, oh dear. It's like fishing line. Not that I fish, so I'll leave that to the boys. Okay, so just grab a, a length of 
Oh, and look what I bought. Look, you know what? You know that these are new because I've still got my cap on them. Look at that, it cuts so cleanly. Oh. Okay, what I'm going to do is put a bit of adhesive on the back there and then I'm just going to wrap that around my, my fingers. And oh, have fun at work, Lisa. I'm just going to wrap that around and then try and stick that down like that. And then, because I don't like these straight bits that stick out, I'm just going to whoops, snip them off. And that one. Whoops. Caring about me, not you. Do you know what? Oh, I've got to be careful here because it'll I'll end up cutting my loops. Okay, so there's my loops going on. And now I can put a backing on there. Dimensional. Stick that over the top, then I can stick this on here first, something like that, and then, what am I doing? I am putting these on. Do you know what I did yesterday? You know when you put something down and you put it down right in front of you and you're looking around for it? Yesterday at Lincoln Land, oh my gosh, I'm such a deal, seriously. I'm, I'm doing this. I said to the girls, oh, there's a, a toothpick in here if you need to, you know, you need a little bit of a hand to get your stuff out. And I put it down and I spent, no joke, about two minutes looking for the framelits that I had just had in my hand. And I've gone, I've gone through everything on my desk. I went through my bag, I went through my thing and it's sitting, it was in my hand. And they're looking at me going, what the heck are you doing? Okay, you can pop them up a little bit, stick that under, mix it in with your little bit of um, loopy stuff there. Okay, and then my happy birthday, I'm probably going to grab one of these and cut it in half. And I know I shouldn't use my new scissors for cutting it in half, but I'm going to. Good morning, Michelle. Oh, seriously? And I think, oh, I, I thought I was must, must have been going nuts because I'm thinking, how on earth? I'm sure I had it packed in there and they're like looking at me going, it's in your hand, you wally. <laughs> oh, so, okay, so happy birthday goes up. Actually, I might put it across the leaf this time. Yesterday I didn't, but I'm thinking I'm going to this time. So it's up a little bit higher. Now... Have you seen these things yet? Woohoo! Love them. Clear faceted gems. So these ones are clear. It is a pretty card, which is why um, I decided to copy it. So it's not my card, okay? Just remember that. Hey, somebody oh, somebody must have had trouble yesterday. There's a sticky dot still there. So these are the clear faceted gems. And they come in gold as well. They are pretty raised up, so they're a lot higher than um, than the rhinestones, but check that out, super pretty. They are really lovely, so they come in gold as well. Okay, then I'm just going to chuck some of these rhinestones around the place, and then we're done. So I want to get a big one down here and I might put whoops, um, one up there. I don't know, I always struggle to, you know, place these things and then I might put, I might put a smaller one just there as well. Um, so there we go, there is our card. Hey Mo! Oh. Use a sneaky one on the back. They turn up everywhere. There we go. So there is our card done. So it's quite a pretty layout. Here's the one that we did yesterday. Um, we used Flirty Flamingo and Wild Wasabi. 
and this one I've used the new Berry Burst and to the horror of a lot of people, Garden Green because I love Garden Green. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. Okay, so just, just reiterating, this isn't my card. I swiped it from um, I swiped it from Pinterest and I'm going to go back and follow the links back and find out who the original creator was uh, so I can all let you know. But I thought it is very pretty. Like I said, I'm not sure what, whether she did um, that with her... That's what it, what it looked like, but I don't think um, I don't think I've used the same things that she did. So because her her stripes were really solid and bold, and so I'm not sure where she got hers from. So yay, lovers of garden green, rejoice! Um, oh, it's one of my favourite greens, seriously. So and that looks really purple, um, even though it's a berry colour. So the rest of the um, in colours we have berry burst. Fresh fig, so they look like they're going to blend nicely together as well. Um, Tranquil Tide, which is going to be um, quite nice, I think. I'm just trying to think of what I can blend that one with. I'll just have a look. Uh, Lemon Lime Twist, which I didn't think I was going to like, but I actually do. And Powder Pink. So, And the cards that I was making the other day, they're just really, really simple ones make sure I get one that's good, is this one here. It's just simple. It's just a little 10 by 10 note card. And um, so it's got Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist, and the pink, the powder powder pink on it. And it's a two-step stamp for the flower heads, the tulip heads. But I just used the same colour. So it's, it's done a really good job of, um, you don't have to use two colours for it. And I didn't even stamp off for any of them either it was just straight stamping so I love that one that one's a hostess set so um, you will want to get your hands on that one okay um, a few little bits and pieces I will uh, you don't want to see me again do you I'll just put these here to look at while I'm chatting to you because um, you don't need to see my face again um, I have got coming up in um, I want to try and do a Christmas stamp stack again this month so for all those who are regulars with the Christmas cards um, powder pink is it lighter or darker than hang on a moment um, okay. this is this is pink pirouette that is blushing bride and that is powder pink so it's really different Okay, so it's a really pretty pink, very pretty. Um, okay, so Christmas stamp stack, I've got trying to come up with another one for this month um, so you can get your Christmas cards ready by the end of the year. And next year, next year, next ter uh, term, oh my goodness, speak properly, woman. Next month, um, when the new catalogue comes out, I am going to be having a catalogue share. So there'll be ribbons, embellishments, and paper. And I have a feeling that, I've just got to do my maths, but if you get all three of them, then I have a feeling that I can actually get you, hang on two seconds, I have a feeling I will be able to get you one of these, but I just have to do my maths, so I really shouldn't have said anything, should I? <laughs> um, okay, so which is the set that I used for this, but I just got to do my maths, so um Hang out with me for that one a little bit. So, um, so I've got that coming up, and I will also have a new stamp by mail. Um, I stuffed up. I thought that I could use the Eastern Palace, but I can't. I was going to sell it this month, so I'm picking a new set of products, um, and that will be next month as well. So next month is going to be huge. Um, let's bring these back in because they're pretty. Okay, awesome. I think I've been going on for a little bit of time now. I wouldn't have a clue what the time is. But I won't keep you any longer. I'll let you go. And um, we shall probably see you again next Thursday with something else to play with. Okay, bye everyone.